Christina and I were together for many years, and uh, we got together because I always thought that she was one of the brightest young talents, uh, and that she had huge upside, and her politics were great. Uh, she uh, was involved with uh, immigration early on before it was fashionable. Uh, she was involved in the civil rights movement. Uh, her, um, her head was on straight politically as well as legally. And she uh, went to the public defender's office before she came to me, and she had compiled an amazing one loss record. I mean, it was really, really amazing. So much so that uh, the public defenders who were practicing with her really hated her because she made them look so bad. Uh, so then we worked together for many years. And during uh, the, our time together, she was one of the best lawyers I had ever seen any time, any place. Her ability uh, to handle trials and judges and cross-examination uh, became legendary around Baltimore. And we had a bad breakup because uh, we couldn't agree on money and things of that nature, but we put a happy face on it. And that was in 1995. Uh, and after that, her personality uh, seemed to know. dramatically change. I mean, I don't know uh, and funny. I began to realize that part of the reason we'd broken up was that the change had begun towards the end uh, of our relationship. I'll have to let you and uh, she became really hostile to people who she had known for years. Uh, she turned all of her friends against her. Uh, and after a while, she had very, very few, if any, friends toward the end of her life. Fortunately, most of us who knew her and loved her understood that she was going through evidently a very, very serious mental decline as a result of her numerous other illnesses. She was on dialysis. Uh, she had kidney problems. I think she had problems with diabetes. And so uh, these things evidently changed her mental state uh, to such a degree that uh, her ability to attend to her practice sharply declined and she got disbarred for neglecting her client's affairs. Uh, this was not the Christina of old. Uh, the Christina of old dotted every I, crossed every T, uh, was exceptionally well prepared and uh, was a credit to the legal profession. She rubbed a few people wrong, but when you are a hard-charging defense lawyer, uh, that's very difficult not to do. Uh, so um, that's, that's, that was my background with, to read, with uh, Tina Gutierrez. Okay, uh, can I ask some questions, follow-up? Sure. Okay, so you have mentioned off-camera that, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that she did certain things that some people would characterize as unethical. Well, she started taking clients from me, and she would have never have done that before because we had a policy that we didn't want anybody else's clients, and that if the person who came to see us because they were unhappy about their lawyer um, was represented by a good lawyer, we would do everything in our power to get that person to go back to that lawyer. And 99% and of the time, that's what happened. Uh, because most of the problems people have with good lawyers are communications issues. They're not how to practice law, they're not any uh, substantive issues of neglecting the case or anything like that. It's just a failure to communicate. So we were usually able to reunite disgruntled clients with their previous lawyers if we respected those lawyers. And there were some lawyers we didn't respect, and so the rule didn't apply to them. Uh, in fact, we breathed a sigh of relief that they finally woke up and came to somebody who's going to be serious about their problem. And so when Teresa, uh, I mean, when uh, um, Christina started changing, uh, where she was aggressively trying to take clients from me, I called her. I wrote her a letter, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, talking about how, you know, this was against the culture that I thought. Uh, had developed at the firm and, and I thought she bought into that and I couldn't understand why all of a sudden she was doing these kinds of things. But then it became clearer because of what people told me because I didn't interact with her very much after that. 
it became clear that she was going through a serious mental decline. Explain what you mean by mental decline, because everything that we've seen so far or heard about has been physical deterioration and professional decline. What do you mean by mental? Oh, no, there was a substantial, it reported to me, a substantial change in her personality. Um, she, she lost her ability to keep track of things. She lost her ability to be responsible because responsibility was her middle name. Uh, there was nothing that she wouldn't do for a client that's, that was lawful and ethical. She left no stone unturned. And when I started hearing that she was actually neglecting her practice, oh, that broke my heart and it meant to me that something was terribly wrong with her mental state. And, and how were... And ultimately there was a disbarment proceeding against her uh, because she had neglected so many clients' affairs. And I believe that there was testimony about her mental state uh, in that proceeding. And how many, what were the rumors about how she would neglect clients? Was she just taking money well, from them? I think there's a written opinion in the Court of Appeals uh, with, when she was disbarred about what had happened. And um, uh, I'm sure the information is there. I was too heartbroken even to read it because that's not the Christina I knew. But and I wanted to remember her uh, the way she was, uh, just a first-class trial lawyer capable of winning any case that you put out there. But that wasn't the case in the mid-90s to the late-90s anymore. She well, no, her ability in the mid-90s was the same as it always had been. The deterioration in her ability that was observable uh, from other people and communicated to me began after she left after 1995? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. She was top notch while she was with me. But then she started stealing your clients after 95? Well, she tried to steal She tried. <laughs> she she was, didn't succeed. Uh, but what, did she, you know this woman, didn't she feel ethically obligated after taking money from a client to be diligent in, their, in her representation? Of course she did, but evidently something went horribly wrong with her mental state and she couldn't keep up with uh, her responsibilities. But she kept up with taking money. Well, the two things are not inconsistent. You know, people who, who have a serious mental decline typically are in denial about it. Nobody wants to think that they're losing it. Nobody wants to think that they uh, something serious has happened with their mentality. And very often, the nature of the illness can be something that is uh, not readily perceived by the client because their ability to perceive also deteriorates. But so, how were her illnesses connected with her mental decline? The only explanation that she could have for becoming suddenly uh, irresponsible would be a change in her mental state. Uh, because her normal mental state was to be extraordinarily responsible. But do you think it's the diabetes? Do you think it's... Oh yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was the overall decline in her physical health. Because she would have, she would have health issues from time to time when she was with me that would debilitate her. So before 1995, did she have health issues? Oh yeah. yeah. So just say that in a sentence, just in case I missed Before 1995, when, when she left the firm, when we split up, she had uh, intermittent and recurring health issues. That's how I knew uh, that health was an issue for her because I, I saw it, I, we talked about it. Um, and, 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 you know, being on dialysis is a rough patch, especially back then. And um, uh, uh, having, you know, a diabetic condition was always a health threat for her. And she had a lot of other responsibilities. She had two kids that she was raising by herself. But none of that interfered with her ability to put out a tremendous work product and to do a prodigious amount of work. But health, having poor health ultimately interferes with everything. Sure. That's why I think that's the only explanation for what happened to her. It was a combination of uh, a sharp downturn in her health and a change in her mental state brought on, I think, probably by her declining health. So many clients complained about her. Why, or did other lawyers in the courthouse know? Why didn't anybody say anything? I'd have to speculate about that because after we broke up, I spent almost no time with her because we had a hostile relationship at that point. And I didn't like 
that relationship. I didn't feel any hostility towards her, but she felt hostility towards me because of some internal financial issues. And um, uh, I was, I was, uh, I was in shock, and I was very sad uh, about what I was hearing. And what? I would reach out to her, and she wouldn't return my calls. Did you, did, were you hearing around the courthouse that clients weren't happy with her? I was hearing it from uh, people that used to work for her. Uh, I was hearing it from people who had been close to her. What did they say? That she was declining mentally, that she wasn't the same Tina by a long stretch. That she was having mental issues and serious health issues. And this is from her employees? Her ex-employees, yeah. Did judges ever say anything to her? I don't know. I don't, but I know that uh, her reputation declined as her as her health declined and as her mental state declined. And she started losing cases. And you know, when Tina Gutierrez starts losing cases, that's a problem. That that that's not her record. Her record was that she would win, 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 occasionally lose, and then go back, win, 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 occasionally lose. That was her record. And okay, during that time when she was not well and not friends with everybody, and at that point, would you be surprised if? she didn't investigate a potential alibi witness? Not based on what I was hearing. I mean, she, she fell apart. That was the overall uh, opinion of everybody that I spoke to during that, that period. She just progressively fell apart. Very sad. Not just for her, but for the people that she was representing. We, we see that now. All right, thanks. Good.